So let's have a very brief look at the things and then uh, the, the, with the things, right? So let's move on to the things, please. So ladies and gentlemen, there are three types of argumentative assays, foreign against assays, opinion assays, assays suggesting solution to problem, right? How many types are there? Well, there are three types of argumentative assays, for and against assays, opinion assays, assays suggesting solution to problem. So the first is a for and against essay. As the name suggests, the for and against, right? As all of us are aware that argumentative, the way name suggests argument, right? You have to present your argument, right? In all cases, for and against opinion and essay suggesting to solution because these essays are persuasive in their nature and they are highly logical right so for and against essays as the name suggests right the writer presents both sides of an issues right and he discusses uh, uh, them uh, first of all like in the phase of advantage or disadvantage merit or demerits etc right he present the both sides the pros and cons of the things right and second thing each point should be supported by justification example or reason and above all a writer can add his own opinion in the final paragraph of the essay right so for and against first of all it has got an introduction the, then the discussion on the problem then the things in favor of the topic then things that are against the essay then writers own opinion that is there or that should be there in uh, the concluding paragraph right then the next type of essay is opinion essay they present the writer's personal opinion regarding any topic, right? That uh, that should clearly be stated and supported by reason or logical examples, right? The opposing viewpoints and reason should be included in a separate paragraph before the conclusion. First. In this type of essay, you have got the introductory paragraph where you have got the topics and tense thesis, right? And what is the problem? Then your opinion uh, uh, in favor of the topic, and then the uh, last paragraph concerning the opposite or opposing viewpoint, uh, the topic, right? Writer can add his opinion right uh, in the introductory paragraph or in the concluding paragraph writers personal opinion can be can either be in the introductory paragraph or it can be in the conclusion and now i am going to uh, the third type of uh, argumentative essay that is essay suggesting to problem our solution to some problem they analyze the problem associated with a particular issue or a situation and put forward possible solutions together with expected results, outcomes, or consequences. Writer can mention a writer can point out his opinion directly or indirectly in the introduction or in the conclusion. The purpose of argumentative essay, right? The purpose of argumentative essay is to create a balance between the two parties, the two groups, two individuals, right? Let's suppose, right? And bring a balance between the both. Those parties are on a disagree, a, a agreement, right? So what the writer tries to do, the writer tries to change the the reader's mindset or frame of mind, right? Uh, 
by putting forward point of view uh, then uh, these essays are highly logical and persuasive whatever you have to say you have to say it with a logic or with a reason right and uh, the difference of opinion should uh, respectfully be catered right so need not to show any kind of dis disrespect in argumentative essays then uh, what should or what kind of the introductory or the thesis statement be like or can be like in case of an argumentative essay government for example should ban further construction of nuclear power plants yes no it can be an opinion right and then other one the usa should continue building nuclear power plants why or why not then planning uh, an argumentative essay right the planning phase of an argumentative essay involves three steps first of all you have to introduce the topic explain the issue or the situation or the case that is uh, being under debate or under discussion right then you have to offer reasons examples of figures of facts to support the topic right then in the third phase you have to present the counter argument to refute the topic or opposing then comes the last phase which is the concluding remarks or the concluding paragraph so there are three planning steps that are involved in an argumentative essay first of all it is the introduction right where you explain the situation or the case which is under debate then on the second phase or second plank you offer reasons or support in favor of your topic then you have to present your argument in opposition to the topic and then comes the last paragraph which is the concluding paragraph right uh, the first paragraph usually contains introduction of the problem that may have background information right uh, for necessity which is necessary for the argument then reasons right in favor of the topic then the opposing argument refutation right then the concluding paragraph that has got the restatement and summary of the entire discussion then uh, leave it right watch here uh, it presents advantages and disadvantages of a certain topic what argumentative essay right then it its purpose is to both educate and convince the reader on a particular point of view on a particular situation on a particular debate the style of argumentative essay they follow a general format right the writer states an initial thesis that contains the viewpoint of for which the author is arguing right the body generally presents both sides of the argument support and oppose then the planning of an argumentative essay first of all it has got an introduction then arguments for are in support of the topic right or against then argument against or for the topics then conclusion this is the scheme or this is, can be the design of an argumentative essay right the things that you should not use in an argumentative essay right do not use short forms first of all right and where you can use them where they are in the form of quotation
Phrasal verbs, qualical expressions like lots of, put up with, be over, uh, write the moon about, dancing around the fire, avoid using such type of phrases, expressions. Right? Do not use simple vocabulary at the same time. Right? Experts say that they think this is bad. Right? Very simple, simplistic expression. Right? Then a uh, series of short sentences, avoid using short sentences, right? Rather use compound and complex sentences, right? Do not use a simple connectors like and, but, so, right? Use specific one and the detail of all those uh, incoming slides, right? Write in proper complete sentences, avoid abbreviations like this. Use complete and words and expressions. Contractions isn't, don't, won't. Right? Use proper standard English slang, right? Bloke, greaser, etc. Do not use them. Uh, do not use colloquial language like mate, blushy, etc. You have to use standard language. Then words that create a link, right? To give an example, you can use in case of an argumentative essay. For example, that is that is to say, for instance, in other words, namely such as as follows, typical of this, including especially in particular, mainly most importantly, a good illustration of this is etc. Then to extend a point similarly, equally, likewise, also, furthermore, indeed, in the same way, besides, above all, as well, in addition, moreover. Then linking words to show next steps, first, second, third, finally, lastly, to begin with, to start with, in the first, second place, first and foremost, and most importantly, another, then, after, next, afterwards, ultimately eventually finally etc then to show contrast opposition however on the other hand alternatively in contrast instead of conversely on the contrary in fact in comparison another possibility while whereas but better worse despite this in spite of although nevertheless notwithstanding for all that yet in uh, opposition to this to show cause and effect so therefore accordingly hence as a result consequences resulting from in consequence of this consequently because of this for this reason owing to due to fact this demonstrates in it follows that this is just that accepting assuming this Right words to conclude. In conclusion, it can be concluded. This implies, in short, to conclude, to sum up, all in all, in brief, all things considered, taking everything in account. These are the phrases that we can use for various functions. Now, <clears throat> the last thing that I'm going to share with you people is right. This is the entire scheme of uh, all three types of essay. For example, for and against first paragraph, it is the introductory paragraph, right? If, where you have to state the topic without stating your opinion. Then comes the body paragraphs, right? Body paragraph two and three. Arguments for are support in support of the topic, justification, examples, reasons, figures, facts, etc. Then paragraph four and five, arguments against the topic, right? And then we have got the conclusion of the paragraph that has got summary and the restatement along with the opinion of the writer. But then we have got opinion essays where in the first paragraph, we introduce the topic, we state the topic, along with our opinion then paragraph two three and four viewpoints and reasons examples then paragraph 
fifth opposing view points reasons and example are a refutation separate paragraph right then we have got a conclusion right final paragraph summarizes restored restate your opinion then the third type of essay solution to problems right where you can have the first paragraph that state the problem and its causes and effects then we have got the main body paragraph paragraph two three four five proposed solution and results right proposed solution and results right outcomes etc then conclusion final paragraph summarizes and opinion that was all from my side on the topic of argumentative writing in this uh, segment we tried to discover briefly the three types of argumentative essays for and against uh, opinion based essay suggesting solution to problems inshallah we'll see you uh, with the next chunk tomorrow that that is definitely going to be a report All right uh, till tomorrow take wonderful care of yourselves bye bye for now sean is requested to share that shareable link right uh, thank you very much everybody for waiting for being so patient uh, i'm thankful to all of you see are the requested to kindly after starting out they are requested to send me the attendance thank you very much